Hey guys, just doing another upload for you. I thought I would try another product testing because I tend to like when those happen and so do the views apparently. Don't forget, I'm trying to make money off this shit. So, you know, friend me, send me, whatever the fuck you want to do, but I want more money. So, uh, this week I decided I would try something that probably won't be so horrible because it's alcoholic. This week I am trying skinny girl margarita. Looks so fancy with a lady on the bottle, doesn't she? Like the kind of girl that would turn you down at a bar in a heartbeat and then whine about how she can't find a man. I digress though. So let's see. So Skinny Girl Margaritas, it is... Where was it? It was something about... Uh, it's 37.5 calories and that's for 1.5 ounces. So basically, you know, a little bit over a shot. It is 12.7% alcohol. So, uh, 25 proof. Not bad. Uh, open, all natural, open and serve. Now, I know that apparently the lady who runs this thing, Bethany Franca Botox, got actually a class action lawsuit against her because it says all natural and there is a preservative in this. But I don't think that's an issue, really, because let's face it, you want, you want low-calorie booze. You don't give a shit how it's made, do you? Probably a fat ass anyway. So... Sorry, this. Oh, yeah. It says, oh, was it? Let me return this a little bit. Uh, made with blue agave tequila with, with natural flavors and caramel color added. Now, the only issue I have here, and I mean this honest to God, is that they also make a skinny girl sangria and a skinny girl uh, Cosmo. And both, and all three drinks are this shade. Cosmos are not supposed to be green, they're supposed to be bright pink and girly. And sangria is supposed to be a dark purple and full of fruit. And these have none of those qualities. So this is kind of like the closest thing to it's supposed to look. As I give it a try to take off the cap here. Bit bit like urine. So let's take a look off for. Alright. Set this down here for the dog to drink. Alright, so it looks like a margarita. Down the hatch. And remember, it's 35 calories. It's probably about 70 to 90. Lechaim. It tastes like lime juice and, and rubbing alcohol. Lime juice and rubbing alcohol just mixed in. Just, there's no sweetness to this whatsoever. It actually doesn't burn the tongue like alcohol. And it does taste salty, but it, yeah, it doesn't have that burn that alcohol, that real strong alcohol gives you. This is a different kind of unpleasant sensation on the tongue. <sighs> Feel that on my throat, though. This cannot, yeah, this is natural. This is horrible. This is, uh, about a bottle of it. You know, I'm going to drink all this, right? I mean, it's horrible, but it'll still get me fucked up. Oh, why do I keep it? Oh, cleared up my sinuses a bit, but yeah, um, how I would rate this, um, I would say out of 10, I'd give this a four or a three. Uh, I can understand if you're on a diet and you really want to drink, but I'd really rather just take an extra 10 minutes on the treadmill and be able to you know, enjoy an actual margarita or maybe even go for one of the like not as serious alcohols like, you know, a vodka cranberry or any of the other things or just do shots. That's what I do. Just shots. If you have any other ideas for drinks I can have or any other products I can test, let me know because I will do it in a heartbeat. You know me, I'm a whore. Oh, I think it's decaying, I think it's rotting Ugh, my teeth. It makes my teeth hurt. <laughs>